So today we will analyze one simple 3D frame model in this chat pro and we also design it well. For that I am just going to take new project and I am just going with this page model and I am just going for S3 and I am just going for add beam method and I am just going to finish it. In this I am just going to draw like this and I am just going to rip it in is a direction. And I'm just going to have open base and link steps so that it created two more beams with the open base. Now I'm just going for general. In general, we have property. I'm just going for define property rectangle. And I'm just going to have 0.25 and then 0.25. And again another 0.3 and then 0.3 for column. Now I'm just selecting this one and going for front view and select assign to selected beam. Select the second one, select this, assign to select. And I'm just going for 3D view. Now you can able to see the 3D model. And support, I'm just going to create a fixed support. And I'm just going for selecting these nodes as it is selected. So we have created this frame model. Now I'm just going for loads and definition. And uh, here I'm just going for dead load and then live load. And I'm just going for a Factor of minus one for dead load, and I'm just going to use assign to view. And for the second one, live load, I'm just going for a member load of minus 10 kilonewton, and then floor load of minus 5 kilonewton per meter square. In this, we need to put range for specifying the ranges. You need to go for node cursor and select it and you can able to see here 0 4 0 so you specify 4 here and this one 6 4 5 so 4 here 6 here 5 here and i'm just going to add it and close it now you can able to see the floor load so it automatically applied to the model and this one having question mark if you have this red question mark you need to assign it so select it and then I'm just going for a selecting this beam. So you should select a beam cursor. And then I'm just going for assign to select beam. So we, now we have got it. Okay. Now we can go for analysis and print. And all add. And then analysis, run analysis. And then save. Now we got zero error, zero warning and one note. We can go for output file. Now in output file we have something like this that not an issue and then I'm just going for result applied load reaction load applied load reaction load for a dead load and then live load as well we can able to see the values over here rx ry rz values now I'm just going for a design so in design I'm just going for concrete in concrete, I'm just going for IS456 and you can select some parameters. So I'm just uh, taking few parameters, compressive strength, FY main, FY secondary and then click OK and then define parameters. In define parameters, we need to put compressive strength value 25,000 and then FY main 41500. And then FY secondary also 41500. So if you have question mark, you need to assign to the members. And I'm just putting assign to view. This also assign to view. This also assign to view. So we can go for commands. In commands, I'm just going for a design beam command, design column command, and takeoff command. So design beam, we need to select only the beams. 
and then assign to selected beam. For design column, you need to select only the columns and assign to selected beams. Now we also like a created concrete design. Now we can go for analysis. Now we got output zero error, zero warning with one note. View output file. So here you can go for concrete represent volume of concrete in beams and then here you can go for volume of concrete 2.8 cubic meter and then we can go for 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm, 20 mm all weights as well. So this is something like a quantity. Uh, for rough estimation or fair estimation you can use the software so you will get some idea how much will be the cost of your structure. So for detailing you need to sit and work with so that it will vary accordingly but you can go for rough estimation using the software so i'm just going for results in result you can go for concrete design and then beam so each beam having all these details like top reinforcement bottom reinforcement sections and then uh, on different section we also have different uh, rebars so for column also we do have so this value pu is that mu is that mu y values we have and also we have concrete area how much steel area how much and the reinforcement details as well now you can just double click the beam and you can see the concrete design so this you can print to pdf as well so then you can open the pdf and you can see what it is so if you want these details to be printed in a PDF file, you can go for print and you can go for print to PDF and you can go for OK. Now, can you able to see that it is coming with the default stack pro template. So where we can able to see all those details. Now I'm just going for post processing mode and I'm just selecting both load cases and I'm clicking OK. Now I'm just going for a reactions. Now you can able to see the reaction values and you can use this one to move around. And I'm just going for a displacement and a displacement. I'm just going to hold control and then mouse click. Now you can able to see the def deflection or displacement and you can go for research view value. Beam research displacement annotate. So this is what the value for displacement in this structure and I'm just going for beam. Now you can able to see the bending moment. Now I'm just putting control and then mouse click. Now you can go for annotate as well. Research, view value, bending moment or you can select everything annotate. Now we can able to see the bending moment is maximum. This is maximum in beam column joint see here it is like 49.18 kilo newton meter so bending moment is always maximum at beam column joint and we can go for shear force in shear force we are having like this we can go for values result view value so like this you can able to go for values for shear force as well you maximize then you will get a clear view even for axial force we can go so like this we have axial force if you want to annotate research view value axial axial annotate so can you able to see the values okay if you don't want you can just go for result view value you can go for remove all 